In case you haven't uh, seen pumice. Pumice is a kind of a sp spongy rock. It's a volcanic uh, material. And I'm here into uh, an area next to Mount Miga, which is that one in the distance. And it's a, it's a dormant volcano. And I have a couple of pieces of uh, this type of rock. It's very, very light. So compared to rocks of the same size, this is probably 10 times lighter. So I have here maybe 50 grams, no, maybe 100 grams of, of material, but similar rock, the same volume, same size, would be probably two kilos. And uh, you see a whole area is made out of this same type of material. So a long, long time ago when that uh, volcano erupted, or maybe a different one, I don't know which one, uh, this area was covered by sort, sort of a, a molted uh, rock, kind of a lava type, and uh, it was filled with uh, micro bubbles, so it was very gassy. And if I look at the structure of this rock, uh, it's very porous, it's like uh, lots of air bubbles inside. And I don't know, if you look it up, maybe you'll find what type of uh, gases uh, these volcanoes uh, are spitting out. Uh, could be carbon dioxide, could be uh, sulfur, I don't know. But um, some people are, after studying this one, they are saying this is sulfur, gas, uh, and, uh, and of course uh, molted rock. Depends on what type of rock. But that's the end result, and uh, humans found a way to give it this on this type of rock use. It being used into a kind of a soap industry, like a detergent that contain pumice, a um, skin cleaning agents, kind of a abrasive material, but it's not hard abrasive. It's softly abrasive. So. Uh, probably if you put this one under microscope, you will see that it doesn't have a very sharp edges. The uh, crystals don't have a very sharp edges to cut into your skin and stuff. So that's, it's safe to use on the skin. So I'm taking the, these two pieces uh, for my kids to see. Of course, they've seen it on the internet, but uh, different thing if you see it in the real life. And See, it's all coming out, it's very fragile. And you see here a kind of a line on, a, on this uh, terrain. Uh, it tells you that it was uh, like a two distinct geological eras. Even above there is another layer. So the sedimentation is a kind of a different, looks very similar, but it's kind of a, it shows that at some point, there was a, a stop until this type of uh, lava eruption or something. I am not a geologist, but I just assume according to that line. So, it's different uh, structure in that line. Okay, so this is uh, around Mount Meager in British Columbia. And about a kilometer away from me, uh, there is a pumice mine. Uh, there is a company... Uh, taking pumice off the ground and uh, processing it and uh, shipping it out. And you see the whole area, see that wall? Uh, of course it's being exposed because 